In this video, we're going to take a look at converting units using a process called unit analysis or dimensional analysis more broadly. To do this, I want to set it up with a uh, multiplication problem 57 inches over 1 times 1 foot over 12 inches. Now, I don't want to worry about the setup right here, but I do want to notice that when we're multiplying rational expressions, we can divide out factors that are in common in both the numerator and denominator. Notice we have inches in both the numerator and denominator. That means they can divide out, which means if we multiply across 57 times 1 foot is 57 feet over 1 times 12, which is 12. And then we could divide 57 by 12, probably using a calculator. We get 4.75, and we still have the units of feet on there. What's important to note is that the units are able to divide out just like anything else when multiplying rational expressions. This means we can divide out units by placing them in the opposite part of the fraction. We'll do this to set up what's called a conversion factor. Now, a conversion factor is the same amount in both the numerator and denominator, but we use different units. In the example we saw above, 1 foot and 12 inches are the same amount, they're the same distance, but they use different units. This process of dimensional analysis says we will convert by multiplying by a conversion factor, same amount, different units, to convert units. So if we're asked to convert 3.8 kilometers into miles, we've got 3.8 kilometers. We'll make it into a fraction real quick by putting it over 1. And then we'll set up what's called a conversion factor, same amount in the numerator and denominator with different units. Now, we don't want kilometers. We want miles. So divide to divide out the kilometers, we will place them in the opposite part. They're in the numerator, we're going to put them in the denominator, and we're going to change them into miles. Now, with a little research, you can find out that 1 mile is equal to 1.61 kilometers. I'm going to tell you that conversion factor. You'll either use a conversion sheet or some other reference point that might be given to you to make that conversion factor as you work through your problems. What's important to note, though, is now the kilometers divide out, and I'm left with only the miles that I want. So now we can multiply across. 3.8 times 1 is 3.8 miles. Keep the units. 1 times 1.61 is 1.61. And now all that's left to do is to divide, probably on our calculator, 3.8 divided by 1.61 is 2.36, if we round it to two decimal places. Miles. 3.8 kilometers is the same as 2.36 miles. Let's look at another problem where we use dimensional analysis to set up and convert. We've got 48 kilograms. We want to convert them to pounds. So we will start by putting those 48 kilograms, making them a fraction by putting them over 1. But we don't want kilograms, we want pounds. So we're going to set up a conversion factor to get rid of the kilograms. Well, right now, they're in the numerator, so to get rid of them, we have to put them in the denominator. We want to change kilograms to pounds. Pounds are abbreviated LBS, because there's lots of L's, B's, and S's in pounds. Go ahead and do some research as to why that is. Interesting story. But what's important to us is that there are 2.2 pounds in every 1 kilogram. Notice that by putting the units in there first, I know the 2.2 has to go with the pounds, and the 1 has to go with the kilograms. The units tell me exactly where to put the numbers. I don't have to think. I just want the kilograms to divide out, leaving the pounds that I want. 
So when we multiply across 48 times 2.2 is 105.6 pounds. Over 1 times 1 is 1. Probably don't need a calculator for the last step. Dividing by 1 simply gives us 105.6 pounds is the same as 48 kilograms. So to set, to convert units, we simply need to set up a conversion factor, knowing which units we want to divide out, and what's the relationship between the units we're using. Be sure to clearly show your work so it can be easily followed using this unit analysis or dimensional analysis process.